As some of you guys who have watched my previous video, I purchased a Blancpain swatch collaboration and the wife got a moon swatch. Up until I opened this box, I thought that was the epitome of a fun watch. But I think I may just have found the watch that is at the top of the fun chain. These are the G-Shock that's dedicated to manga lovers. Manga is a form of comic book in Japan, hence the design. I think we are all familiar with this octagonal shape feature in G-Shock watches, but this just takes it on a different level. It's not just a one-dimensional fun watch, it's a whole entertainment on your wrist. And don't be fooled by its quirky design. It is still a G-Shock and it's still a functional watch, but it's too cute that I'm not sure if I want to wear it and put some everyday life dirt on it. I think I just want to have it on display and just appreciate the creativity like a painting. The best thing, or should I say things, about this G-Shock is its function. You have a world time, a stopwatch, a countdown timer, an alarm, a calendar, and for how much? 276 Australian dollars. This is probably going for a much higher price on the secondary market now, so if you purchased it for its retail price, then well done you. And also, one of the things that we consider first when we buy a watch is its size. This is 45.4 millimeters in diameter, and you'd think, whoa, that is too big. But that's the beauty of fun watches. You can get away with it because it's not meant for a serious day-to-day -day activity. Although, like I said, it is born with those features. You can probably take this on a battlefield and be equipped more than someone wearing a time-only $10,000 watch. My first G-Shock, which is half my age, is still in pristine functioning condition despite the scars that it has obtained throughout the years. This G-Shock has over a hundred versions, so there's one for literally all ages. It's like the Speedmaster of G-Shock. By this time, it has already reached its peak design and they've just opened up to different artists to put a twist on its already iconic look. Here they are side by side. The only difference is the color of the minute hand, yellow for the white and red for the blue. What's eye-catching about this watch is its two-dimensional design. The careless brush strokes on the indices and minute markers give it more depth, and the cloud speech icon that points to the days of the week and 9 o'clock mimics the Japanese style of comic book drawings. The function indicators and other text are also highlighted as if you're reading a text from a comic book. Everything about this watch shouts Japanese, including the laser-engraved writing on the back that translates to BAM. And even if you're not passionate about watches and you don't collect them, I think anime lovers or anything related to Japanese culture, you would love this watch. Or if you want to influence someone and turn them into a watch geek, this would be the perfect gift. The G-Shock with a BAM. Now let's take a look at it on the wrist. It just looks awesome. Again, it is a big watch but you can still pull it off even if you have a small wrist. First of all, it's light. You don't even feel it on your wrist, but it is an attention-grabbing watch. It's easy to tell the time, and it can make your day better just knowing that you've got the coolest watch. Although I am torn between which one I love more, they both look great, and I am happy I purchased both of them. But if I really have to pick, I think I would pick the white one. Just to stay in the lane of its comic book heritage, a simple white canvas or page with imaginative scribbles. But what do you guys think? And which one would you pick between these two? I also think they should make a lot more version of this. I would love to have one in red and yellow and even a black version. Even the wife has expressed interest in the white one. And if that's the case, then I am left with the blue one because as the saying goes, a happy wife means I can buy more watches and that leads to a happy life. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the wrist shots and I'll see you on the next watch.